Kybella on this gentleman, which is the first FDA approved non-surgical treatment for submental fullness. As most know, as we age, we all get a little bit of fullness underneath the neck here, and that's usually the first sign of aging of the face that really bothers people. Before Kybella, our only intervention available was really doing some type of a surgical procedure to either liposuction the fat or directly cut the fat out, which is a great operation, but does require the downtime associated with surgery and the uh, limitations afterwards. So Kybella is great in terms of the fact that we can reduce some of this fullness here with just simple injections in the office spaced about five weeks apart and avoiding surgical procedures. So we're going to start with our markings here. There's a certain area that we want to concentrate on in order to avoid getting any other areas that don't need to be addressed. So we mark out the inferior border or the bottom border of the jawbone and then we go about a centimeter or two below that. This is kind of an area that we want to avoid because there are some nerves in there. We draw a line from the nasolabial fold straight down that way nasal labia fold straight down that way to get our lateral borders and then we find the thyroid which is the Adam's apple and go up a little bit from that and there's a little bone in here called the hyoid bone which actually defines the angle of the neck and so we want to go up from that so this is the area that we're going to concentrate right in here and this is the area that usually has a little extra fat pad that we want to that we want to address. So what Kybella does is this small, and we're going to show you this, small little injections of the substance that dissolves the fat cells. And when you dissolve the fat cells, it shrinks the volume and then you get a little bit of retraction of the skin to get a little bit better angle. In order to, in order to track all the little injection sites, we're going to use this grid, which is basically a little uh, temporary tattoo like you've seen children use in the past. So we're going to moisten this, apply it to the neck area, and it's going to leave those little teeny dots on there. The dots are different colors in order for us, the injector, um, to basically keep track of where we have injected and where we have not injected. So here Kathy is cleansing the skin. Anytime we do any injections, we have to prep the skin with a surgical prep solution so that you don't get any infection, whether it's Botox, filler, or Kybella. Okay, so here Kathy's going to apply the grid. She moistened it. She's going to apply some pressure with a wet piece of gauze and hold a little pressure. So here she's removing the backing. And you can see all those small little dots that are left. That's the grid that we're going to use to keep track of all the injection sites. Grid. And these are all the little dots that we're going to use. And again, they're different colors only for the purpose of keeping track of uh, where we've injected because there's so many little dots. And all we need to do is inject just a very small few drops into each little grid area. Now you can see we're purposely not going into the dot because you don't want to drag the dye from the dot into the skin. So you go right next to it and again just tiny little drops of the Kybella and we're going right underneath the skin and then this diffuses into the fatty pad underneath the skin and then that dissolves the fat. So we're continuing with the injections and it takes about four to six weeks for the fat pad to completely dissolve. Now typically we can't expect all the fat to be dissolved with one treatment. That's why we recommend having at least two to four treatments and we space those about four to six weeks apart. The nice thing about Kybella is there's actually no pain associated with it. There's a little burning right afterwards, and then subsequently after that, there's no pain associated with it at all. There's a little swelling that occurs, and other than that, there's no downtime, which is very nice, and it's a very well-tolerated procedure by all of our patients. So now we're going to wipe off all the white markings, and that's just an eyebrow pencil that we use. We're going to get rid of all those little dots. And then we're just going to apply a little ice pack. And we just recommend applying ice to the area off and on for the rest of the day. Minimize activity just for the rest of the day. I would hold off from doing any running or going to the gym just for the rest of the day, and then that's it. 
So we'll see him back in the office in a few days just to check on him. He'll have a little bit of swelling at that time. And then we see him back in about four to five weeks and then we'll evaluate at that time if we need to perform another treatment. Do you have any discomfort or? Just felt a little bit of a sting um, and just a little bit of a, a pinprick type feeling. And now that they have the ice on it, it feels fine now. I don't feel anything.